So, you've got a broken cork. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. And just because the cork is broken doesn't mean that the wine inside has any problems at all. And I'm going to show you how best to save the wine inside that bottle. First things first, you should really try and give it another go with your corkscrew. This time, you're going to have to insert the corkscrew with a little bit lower pressure. What I mean by that is don't push on it too hard. Slowly twist the cork in and you should feel it go right through to the bottom of that cork. Once you've felt it go through, again, gently, gently, slowly ease the cork out and there we have it. The best kind of corkscrew for this action is one of these T-shaped waiter's friend corkscrews. They're much easier and you've got a lot more control when you're trying to get that cork out. However, if you have pressed too hard and the cork has fallen inside the bottle, then please don't worry. The easiest thing to do in this case is to get a decanter and either a cheesecloth or a sieve and pour the wine through into the decanter and the cork will stay in the bottle or little fragments will fall into the sieve or onto the cheesecloth. No problem. But if you really have to serve the wine in the bottle, then there is another solution and that is called a cork retriever. It works very simply in the sense that you put the arms inside the bottle, you open them up and it creates a claw. You then simply get the cork in the claw and pull up and you need to do that forcefully but nice and smoothly. But finally, if you know that you have an old cork that is likely to be fragile, you may want to use something called a butler's thief. And I'm going to take a new bottle to show you this. With a butler's thief, you simply insert the prongs on either side of the cork. Now this isn't the oldest cork in the world, but be aware if you are using an old cork, you need to do this really carefully as it might already be starting to break at the top. Slowly work the butler's thief in, gently, gently. And when you've got enough purchase around that cork, it works a little bit like a corkscrew. Don't twist it too much, but just gently hoist the cork up. And so there we are. We've managed to remove the cork intact and it means we can serve straight from the bottle. Even if you have a cork disaster, hopefully I've shown you that you can still save the wine inside the bottle.